In this video, I'm going to show you how to put text in between your subject and create posters like this. So let's get started. Hey, what's up guys, Daryl here and as you can see, this is the final output. Actually, there are two final outputs, this one and the other one you saw in the intro. Uh, with the square and actually I'm not sure which one I like better so I'm gonna just show you how to create both of them first of all uh, let's open the photo that we will use as background file open and select the photo that you want to use open it I found this picture on pexels.com and if you want to use the same photo the download link is in description so feel free to use it okay so first of all uh, we need to type in the words that we want to put in between and for that select your type tool and in the font I'm using Source Sans Pro it's default inside Photoshop and actually you can use any font as long as it works with your image so first of all uh, let's do a click and now I'm gonna type in the words that I wanna mask now as you can see it's really teeny tiny uh, confirm it uh, we're gonna make it bigger so press ctrl T hold your shift key and drag it from a corner like this I think this is big enough then go and confirm it now before we actually put the font in between we need to align them properly with the model and for that actually first of all double click on your T and make sure that you have this middle option selected here uh, so all the words are in complete center then I'm gonna actually align it in a different way so to do that uh, you can just simply click anywhere in between like this make sure your T is selected here the type tool uh, so now you can click here and after that once you see this blinking arrow you can use your arrow key to move it when move in between the letters so first of all I'm gonna go and make sure that I am at my B then hold your alt key and option in case you are using Apple product so hold your alt key and then use your right arrow key and it will push the B uh, entire but word uh, to the right so I'm gonna align the T with the E like this that looks good now I'm gonna do the same thing with the edge okay so the alignment is done and as you can see uh, I align the word in a way that this one BERT and HAP they actually go alongside with the body of model and it looks little bit better in symmetry uh, the alignment is done and now we have to change the colors so for that double click on the T and then you can actually select the fonts in the same way so simply just click anywhere in the middle then use your arrow key to go on top so now as you can see the alone is selected sorry the arrow the blinking arrow is in front of A now hold your shift key and then use your arrow key to select this like this so the alone word is selected and now you can use your bottom arrow key to select the bottom word as well then go to your uh, color option here and then change it to any dull yellowish color like this I'm using dull yellow to complement the word alone so I think this looks good then hit ok now for the word happy so again I'm gonna hold my shift key and select the word happy then since it's the word happy I'm gonna use cheerful you know uh, sky bluish color so this looks good then go and hit ok then go and confirm it so all the basic changes are done and we can finally do the effect uh, the reason why you are watching this video so uh, first of all uh, go and apply a layer mask on your text layer here after that select your brush tool and in the brush make sure you have black color then before you actually start erasing anything right click and make sure hardness is somewhere around like 80 to 85 percent like for this image uh, that worked perfectly and also go and reduce the opacity of your letters so we can see the model as well and it, it makes the job a lot easier so uh, somewhere around like 20 percent is good then activate your layer mask and in the color make sure you have black color since we want to erase it so first of all let's start with something simple so word L as you can see here so zoom in you can use Control plus uh, to zoom in then go and erase the portion of L uh, only portion that overlaps with the model as you can see until up here and that's it uh, now technically you could go and yes also erase this portion as well but uh, for this photo this looks more attractive uh, so that's done now a little bit more complex so as you can see here 
you will actually erase the portion that overlaps hand and not anything in between. Now let's say something like this happens and you want to bring back the letter. Just change the color to white and you can paint it back again. And you can also use your X key to flip in between the colors so it makes the job little bit faster. So uh, I think at this point uh, this looks kind of okay. And uh, from time to time go and make the opacity 100% and just see that if it works or not. And I think this is kind of looking good and we can start working on the T. Looks good, let's make the opacity 100%. So as you noticed, you have to find something in your image that you can use to overlap your words. For example, this portion of hand, it kind of works because there is distance in between the waist and the hand. But here, as you can see, we also have a hand, but I didn't remove it because there is nothing in between for the word O to letter O to pass, you know. So you have to like sit down and notice your image properly, the places you can utilize to overlap your words. So uh, again, reduce the opacity uh, so we can see what's going on. And then uh, let's go and erase it from here. So as you can see, the effect has started taking shape. And at this point, yes, the basic effect is done, but it kind of looks flat because we don't have any shadows in between the model and the letters. So we will create two different types of shadows. One, the shadow of letters on top of model. So uh, create new blank layer, uh, select your brush tool and make sure the color is black. Then right click and make sure hardness is 0%. After that, right click on your layer and then select create clipping mask. Then zoom into the portion where you erased your letter. Uh, then make the brush little bit bigger and paint a little bit like this. Now as you can see here it looks good but we also accidentally painted little bit here as well. So select your eraser tool from here and then just erase it like this. So now let's go back to the brush tool. Now here as well so I'm gonna go and paint a little bit here. So I think now this looks better uh, and you can also reduce the opacity a little bit to blend it but I don't think there is need. Uh, let's try 80. Okay so that looks better. So the one type of shadow is done. Now another one is shadow of letters on top of model. Other way around. So to do that select your background copy here then create new blank layer. Then select your brush tool. Uh, right click make sure hardness is 0% because we need really soft shadows. Make your brush a little bit bigger and zoom in in the portion where your letters overlap the model. Uh, so I'm gonna go here and then start painting it like this. But when you paint it also make sure that you don't add shadows like this because this won't happen. The background is really far away. So on, paint shadows only where the model is. Now as you can see here the, it is already really dark and painting any shadows it doesn't show any difference. So just uh, avoid painting here anything. So that's good now reduce the opacity to blend it better. So I'm gonna keep it somewhere around like 70%. And that's it this is how you can put letters in between your subject. So the basic effect is done and now I'm gonna show you how to create that square outside. Uh, if you don't want to see that, you can end the tutorial now. Uh, the main effect is over. So to create that box, I'm going to go and create new blank layer and just rename it box. Uh, okay, then select your marquee tool from here, rectangular one and make a square. Any size is fine, just make a square. After that, right click and select transform selection. Then make it uh, smaller from this side and align it with the A and here make it smaller and align it with the Y and you can also make it smaller from top and bottom it's up to you. So this looks neat confirm it after that right click again and select this time stroke. In the stroke the width is 10 pixel but it will depend on your image and in the color any color is fine so I'm gonna keep it white for now 
and location is center this is the important part okay so keep in mind so i'm gonna hit okay uh, hit okay then to remove the selection just go to select and deselect now i'm gonna go and remove it from where it overlaps so make sure you have the same marquee tool then make a square like this uh, and then simply press delete key and boom it's gone after that uh, go to select deselect then again make a square like this uh, then press delete key then go to select and deselect so this is how i created the square and you can also erase it from the legs uh, makes it look more dynamic so select your eraser tool and then erase it from the legs like this you can also use layer mask if you like so the square is done now i'm going to show you how i added the multiple colors in it uh, for that right click here and then select blending options and in the blending option select gradient overlay now it's already done i'm gonna show you again like how i did it so first of all uh, you will have basically something like this uh, let's go and make it linear okay so this is what your gradient looked like in the beginning after that click on the gradient make sure you have black and white one then select your black color and in the color pick up the color from letters so make it yellow hit okay and on the white go pick up the color from the happy so sky blue uh, and then hit ok ok now i want uh, like sky blue color only in this portion so i'm gonna change the style to radial and then you can move it around actually you see so i'm gonna move it uh, in a way that you, uh, sky blue color show up near the word happy so like this and the rest is yellow so this looks nice and you can also reduce the scaling if you don't want it to spread too much uh, so this looks also nice maybe 117 is good hit ok and that's how i created the box and also don't forget that cropping your image properly is also very important so i'm gonna select my crop tool and as you can see it's really nice like vertical effect so this really broad image doesn't work very well with it and also these train engines don't add anything to the effect that we are going for so i'm gonna make it smaller like this and also a little bit smaller from here then confirm it so you can leave it here or you can actually just hide it and only go with the words so that's it and this is the final output as you can see it's really really simple anyone can do it so i really hope that you guys learned something from this video and if it did hit that like button and if you have any kind of questions or suggestions feel free to ask me in comment section below till then goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop